Well, hello again. Last time uh, I posted a video was following the um, September ECAT report. And now it's October and we have a new ECAT report. And uh, let me just uh, read it to you. Um, this comes from Andrea Rossi. Dear followers, uh, during the month of September, Leonardo Corporation's global licensee made further progress in preparing for the manufacturing of the ECATs and developing the manufacturing facilities. The global licensee is intensifying tests for modules that will generate 20 to 22 kilovolts at the output for use in intermediate power line stations. They are also working to extend the certifications for these modules. The start of deliveries is still scheduled to happen within this year. Warm regards, Andre Rossi, CEO of Leonardo Corporation. As quite a few little things in there I thought was, were quite interesting. Um, first of all, you know, in September, he said that they were doing crucial tests. Um, and now what it appears is that the tests seem to have been successful, meaning that it doesn't sound like there's anything happened that is putting them off their schedule, which I think is, you know, good news for the technical aspects of the ECAT. Um, uh, also, the uh, use of these modules, uh, it's a bit ironic, I think, because, you know, people are saying, and I, I believe that, you know, ECAD is a technology that could get us off the grid. But it seems like the first use of the ECAT is going to be used within the grid. Um, in For intermediate power line stations, I think what he's talking about is an intermediate power station would, would be a power station that can come online at a time when you know, there's a there's peak demand. And apparently, I don't know much about it, but just from what I've read, that this is a quite a profitable enterprise to be in because you can charge a lot more electricity when there's a real demand for it. Um, so, you know, it's, it's a, one of those uh, smart uses of the technology that could provide for Leonardo Corporation or licensee uh, a, a, a good revenue stream. Um, maybe you could call it the low hanging fruit where you've got uh, an opportunity to really be able to use your technology to make a lot of money at, at, at the beginning. And you know, my um, Andre Rossi has always talked about when he's talked about what he considers um, good use of his technology is to save money. I think that's always been kind of his thing that uh, ECAT is a product that will save people money and this may be uh, economical for the power the power stations, the utilities and obviously for the those who are providing the electricity but he is a pragmatist when it comes to business. I don't think he's really so much an idealist that he wants to uh, bypass the grid. I think if he sees an opportunity that he thinks can be a good business move for him, he'll, he'll take it. Um, and so, you know, I, I know that there are people who are disappointed that the first ECATs, it doesn't sound like they're going to be going to people who've ordered their home ECAT systems. And that, that, that includes myself. You know, I'd love to be one of the first people to receive an, an ECAT, but uh, it doesn't sound like that is going to be the case at this point. Um, and then there'll be, there were some follow-up questions and answers uh, on the Journal of Nuclear Physics. Um, what Andrea Rossi said was that this company who is making, who is going to be using these first ECATs has been funding uh, Leonardo Corporation since 2018. So it's sound. It's apparently someone who's he's been working with for a long time, and maybe they just got f 
first in line, he said that they made an enormous a pre-order before the pre-orders went out to the general public. So, yep, uh, I, I certainly get it how people would be hoping that the first ECATs would go to the first people who put those public pre-orders out, but it doesn't sound like that's going to be the case. Um, let's see if there's anything else that uh, has stood out to me. Well, it, he mentions here they are working to extend certification for these modules. Now, apparently these modules are not like just big ECATs. They're actually modules that are consist of multiple small ECATs. So apparently there's further certification testing because the original modules, the individual modules are, as I understand it, uh, built to produce 12 volts. So now we're talking about 20 to 22 kilovolts. So there's gonna, there's obviously some configuration of them that is making it possible to make very high voltage. Um, so yeah, I think that's, those are the main points uh, from this, um, this latest update. Uh, to me, it sounds like positive for the technology, not so positive for those people who are hoping to be able to get a home ECAT to help them become grid free. Um, I think one of the issues that Rossi and the, the licensee is really thinking about is if you have control over these big units and they're not going out into the general public, then it's going to be a lot more difficult for people to uh, get hold of them and take them apart and try and reverse engineer them. So I think that's obviously going to be something that they want to keep uh, as secret as much as possible and this particular um use of the first ecats is going is going to make it a lot easier for them to keep control of them so i think that's up that's something that's going to be has been, has been factored in uh another thing is that um rossi had mentioned at one point that um he was worried that the first people who were using it would be using the first ecats might um use them in ways that they were not intended for and they might break or they might report that it doesn't work or it, it's not a reliable technology. So again, this is another way for them to be able to monitor the use of these first ECATs to make sure that they're working correctly and also to make sure that people don't um, fake breakdowns or destroy them by using them in um, dangerous ways or things like that. Um, and he says the start of deliveries are still on schedule to happen within this year. I don't know what their plans are for publicizing this. I mean, I suppose you could do this. I suppose you could do this fairly stealthily so that people don't see what's what's going on i don't know if they're going to be making a big publicity splash about this that'll be interesting to find out so anyway that is uh the latest and uh more news comes along i'll certainly be on the channel and uh put some more information up thank you very much